there's no doubt about that. I, uh, the other point I wanted to talk about was Norway. Um, I, really fast here. I, I do. I come from a military family, and my dad and grandfather were Marines and Masons, and I was a DMLA, and I went through the Blue Lodge and the Scottish Rite and the AMORC, and I'm no longer active, and I believe these orders uh, are generally corrupt. Um, but I think there's another way to look at the Norway attack. I'm not trying to defend them the Masons or the Templars or anything, because these these groups are, are they're so big and they're so shadowy and they've been infiltrated by so many different people. Who know, No one, I don't know what they're, what they're going on at the top. I don't know what the 33rds are doing, but um, I think they're, somebody who was behind this war was trying to demonize the Masons and the Templars for some, for some reason, whoever was behind this, because it just doesn't make sense. The, whole, their, the rhetoric of the, of the fake... Uh, documentary and the fake manifesto. It doesn't match Masonic doctrine too much. It just doesn't make sense. The whole thing just doesn't make sense. No, I hear you. I mean, Masonry is a very diverse, complex situation, and mainly it's the secrecy in it is used for other cults to be set up. We'll be right back. Interest is up and the stock market's down and you're only getting mugged if you go downtown. Coming up on Friday, we've got uh, Al Jorgensen of Ministry uh, joining us on the show. So I certainly uh, look forward to that interview. I remember listening to Ministry in like 19, 1989, 1990, and they had all their songs about the New World Order and global government and genetic engineering and warfare. I mean, this guy... I can't wait to talk to him. And, you know, they've also put out um, music videos exposing government-sponsored terror uh, recently, uh, government drug dealing. Uh, so he's the founder of ministry, and I can't wait to uh, interview him coming up on Friday. Uh, let's go back to your calls. I had a Dr. Paul Craig Roberts to really give us the skinny uh, on what's happening with the debt ceiling situation and talk of making Obama supreme ruler. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk to Otter, because Otter was holding yesterday. We never got to him. Then Dan, Brent, Sarah, and others. Otter in Mass, you're on the air. Hey, how are you? Good. So uh, I'm here in vacation land. I'm on Martha's Vineyard off of Cape Cod. Oh. And the reason your buddy from the military that just called and mentioned the drones, because this turns into a military camp during that 10, 12-day period. I've seen it three years running. Uh, you've got the stealth helicopters coming in. Right now we're being infiltrated by the SS goons that are coming in. We've noticed the last couple months the chemtrails have stopped. But they might have blown that one because our beaches, the waters are polluted, and they're more and more being shut down. I think, you know, a combination of Fukushima, what they're not telling us about that, the fact that the meteorological evidence is different than what historically has been presented. I've got asthma, I'm sorry. Um, we've got the jet stream running different than what they would project. So you've got stuff coming directly across and right on the same parallel with us. Hey, but don't worry. The EPA two months ago raised the level of isotopes um, uh, in some cases 100,000 times higher radiation they say is good for you. And government doesn't lie. I mean, like they tell the troops, DU is good for them. I mean, they know in their own manuals it's a death sentence, but now they even use DU at military shooting ranges near big cities, and it's getting into the water. But, you know, everybody's being poisoned by it, but so what? The government loves us, sir. They're good people. I mean, <laughs> looks like they're trying to curb it because, you know, they want him to come here. It's uh, an interesting thing when it comes down because we basically turn into a military base. When Clinton came years ago, he was right out there in the open with his Suburbans. Now they run around dressed up like they're tourists with cameras and your standard Jeeps, etc. Let's jam in one more call here. Let's talk to Ezekiel in Kentucky. You're on the air. He dropped. Dan in Pennsylvania, go ahead. Yeah, hi, Alex, you there? Yeah. Um, kudos to you and everybody, Prison Planet uh, member for years. Um, I was just wondering if you have in your stack there the executive order that Satoro uh, signed on the uh, 24th, went effective on the 25th of July 2011, the executive order, order uh, blocking property of transnational criminal organizations, basically putting us into a uh, national emergency. 
Yes, I, I did see an article about that, and I should have covered it. Uh, I tell you what, um, I don't even have a pen in front of me. Some gremlin is taking the pens out of here. Um, give me that, give, give John Harmon that executive order, or I can just search it. Obama signs executive order on transnational criminal organizations. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, coming up. I'll look that up.